All right. So first, there is still room for those who are not able for one reason or another uh, to still come back and have their biometrics taken. Yes, if there is a good reason. If there is a good reason. Yes. And that the others will be investigated. Yes. So that number then could go significantly down. Maybe not. Maybe up. Maybe up? Yeah. Because okay. um, you see also, as you, it was an interim report, right? And um, in the interim report, we have uh, come, uh, discovered that we have quite a number of new recruits in the last one year. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a significant number, over 30,000. Now, um, you also need to verify that. Um, who's, who has hired them, where they um, hired and why, and that could affect the numbers either way. So uh, our suspicion is that it could go either way. Mm -hmm. The numbers could go slightly lower, but could also go higher because yeah. we're still continuing with the exercise. I should mention again, as you had, it's not an exercise carried out by my ministry only. It was a joint exercise. Uh, between the national and county government and all the independent institutions that deal with the human resource issues uh, within the public service. Okay. Public Service Commission was there. You saw that SRC, um, CIC, because of the constitutional matters, CRA, TA is also part of it. So it was a joint exercise uh, within an intergovernmental framework. All right, so you say it continues. When does it restart? We, we actually are moving on now. They are in the process of doing forensic uh, analysis. They are, they are actually studying the, the data, mm -hmm. analyzing uh, what it means, the numbers, because it's not just about 12,000. It's now what do these numbers mean for us, and then what are the policy decisions that we can make out of these numbers. Mm -hmm. And so we've, um, we are expecting to completely close that exercise uh, of the capacity assessment towards end of February. And then once we're done with that, we will now comments on another exercise. We're expanding the exercise to the other arms of the public service. You know that the civil service is just one small portion of the mm -hmm. public service. We have the disciplined forces. We have the teachers as well. We would like them to also go through the same exercise. Okay. So it's, it's going to be a long-term um, assignment. Assignment. Really. So during uh, the exercise, and then it began, in essence, many voices came out to oppose to it, saying it was a witch hand. As we speak, the Kenya County Government Workers Union, the general uh, Secretary Robert Duba had threatened to move to court saying that in fact even these results are out of an illegal process because there was an industrial court order uh, barring that the exercise continue pending the hearing of some of the cases that had been applied. What do you say to that? Well, there was an, uh, a, a court action against certain counties. It was not nationwide. Blanket, okay. Yes. And um, by the time they were going to court, because they were going to court after the exercise had long started, most of those counties had actually finished um, their exercise. So you wouldn't quite say it's illegal because we continued with the other counties that were not affected. Uh -huh. uh, for example, the, there had been a court case in Nairobi and it was lifted. So there was no violation at all. Otherwise, we wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah.